everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all okay. Um, I've got an exciting purchase to share with you today and I thought we'd do some swatching together. So I decided to invest in some alcohol markers, mainly because I've seen some amazing, amazing um, pictures uh, uh, of Hannah Lynn images and, um, and other images coloured with a base of alcohol markers. So I thought, hmm, I'd like to quite try those. So I decided to invest in some Arteza, these are Ultra Everblend Art Markers, and they come in a broad nib and a fine nib. And I've gone for tropical tones, and I think I'm also, depending on how these go, I'm also going to invest in the ocean tones as well, which give me a set of 72. Um, and that's because I don't really want very many deep colours. So yeah, so I bought the tropical tones, so let's get swatching. I'm just going to put these up here. Come in a lovely box um, here, um, and they stay in the box. And this opens. Oh, you can't quite see. This opens, and it, they all stay in the box like this. Um, and I'll put that there. Then this is my coloring companion book, and I put all of my swatches in this book. And I've what I've done so far is I've written down all the names and the numbers of all of the different markers. So let's get going. So the first one is, so let's have a look at what these markers are like. So, oops, I can get that in focus. Yeah, Everblend art markers. So they have a fine nib. Not as, I've got some um, Stedler Chipless Fine Liners, which are much finer than that. And then this is the, the broad nib. Of course, you really get some out of alcohol as well when you open them up. Um, so let's get swatching. So, yeah, this was quite an exciting purchase. I purchased these on Monday. And my um, daughter was actually in hospital at the time, having had eye surgery to correct her squint. So it's been quite a stressful and extremely tiring week. So I don't know if you can see that. That's Narcissus, Narcissus Yellow. Um... So I've only just, so I got these, I can't remember when I got these, yesterday. And this is the first time I've had them out of the box. Um, so yes, I've been really looking forward to, oh, they're quite similar in colour. Um, so that one's sapphire yellow. Could be a paper that I'm using there. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Colouring's been a bit slow. Um, this week, because I've been really, really busy with work, um, finding finding work quite. Oh, I can't get the book off this. Okay, finding work quite draining at the moment mentally, which is um, making it very difficult for me to actually get the energy to colour. So this one's sunflower yellow. Get the energy to colour. I find that. Um, with colouring, sometimes you've got so many decisions to make, like what's your colour palette going to be? What what might you use for embellishments? And sometimes I'm just not mentally in a place to be able to make those decisions. That one's called White Quartz. Um, I'll show you all of these at the end. So yeah, so I've, I've, I've not done as many pages so far this month as I was hoping to. Um, I've done, where are we, what, what date are we on? We're on the 12th, aren't we? I've done six, so that's not too bad, I suppose. Um, sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background. She's probably having her drops done. Um, she has to have drop four times a day for two weeks, and then she goes down to two drops at two weeks. Um, for two weeks. So she's probably just having them done. She doesn't like having them done. Um, but she's also being quite noisy. Um, yeah, so I've been, what have I been colouring? I've done, I finished a page in Kirby Roseanne's Imagimorphia, which was the first image I'd ever done. Oh, that's a lovely colour. First image I had ever done in Imagine Morphia, and my daughter chose the image. I'm not gonna. I think I may have given you a sneak peek already. 
in my haul video. Um, but yeah, so I chose the horse picture in Imagine Warfare if you know the book. Um, and it's turned out really well. I'm really pleased with it. Um, and I, if you know Kirby Roseanne books, they're extremely detailed. Um, and some and a lot of the early ones have these funny hidden objects to find. Um, which I have to say I did find a little bit annoying, and I think a lot of people have. There was a, a pearl necklace in the image I was colouring, and I thought, well, this doesn't really fit with the image, which was, you know, lots of flowers and leaves in a mane, and then this random pearl necklace. And I was like, mm, okay, I'm not sure I really like that. Um, so then I decided to colour... Um, I decided to do something from Lulu Mayer's A Million Cute Animals, because there's a couple of colour-alongs this month, I think. I think it's... Mayo in May or something on um, May, Mayo in May um, on Instagram and then there's another one which is running from I think it's a year long kind of along per Lulu Mayo so I did a, a, um, an image from A Million Cute Animals which was one with two cats and a wreath and it was quite simple and quite nice after a Kirby Roseanne to do that what I've noticed about these markers is that some of them echo the colours of Arteza um, pencils. So the lilac, there's a peony pink which is in the pencils. Sapphire yellows in the pencils. Pumpkin orange is in the pencils. So there's quite a few that echo what are in the pencils, which is quite I quite like actually. Um, yeah, so I was, what was I saying? I was talking about colouring in my Lulu Mayer book, Million Cute Animals. Yeah, I've done that. Really enjoyed that. And I've done one in Minor Eyes of Dirk Europa. Um, my daughter chose the image, probably one I wouldn't normally have chosen. Oh, you'll be able to see a little bit more now. Um, and I quite enjoyed that one. Um, what else did I do? And so at the moment I'm in the middle of doing um, an image from Johanna Basford's 30 Days of Creativity. And it's the one with the, the kind of tiny wins page. Because I think after I'd done Kirby Rosanna, I was just like, I just need one small wins and not these huge double pages. So I'm doing, um, it's like the little ocean pictures. Look, my one of my pages before bled through. I've got these funny bits here. Um, so yeah, doing the small wins, like little ocean, ocean scenes. And it's got a starfish and a seahorse. Um, what else has it got on there? I can't remember. Uh, crab. Fish. Lots of fish. Something with a key or something with an anchor. So I'm having fun. Just with pencils at the moment. But I'm going to crack open my RTs and metallic watercolours. And put some lovely sparkly backgrounds. I'm going to use my new Cos uh, Enchanted Shimmer top coat over some of the pencil work. To give it a nice shimmery blue in the water so that's quite nice um so i'm quite looking forward to the embellishments part but i'm not i'm not i'm not enjoying the pencil bit of it at the moment and i don't know why um maybe because i got the new markers and i was excited about those and i was like oh don't want to use pencils i don't know um but yeah i'm not i don't seem to be enjoying it and i don't know if it's because it's 30 days of creativity so it feels as though i should be drawing or doodling or something or whether it's because it's I want to do a different book. I, I I can't quite work it out at the moment. Or maybe I've just... It's just been such a stressful week that I'm just like, oh, I'm not... Oh, that one's a bit of a... goes down a bit weird compared to the others. The nib feels a bit harder. That's a nice colour though. Look at that. Um, I like that one very much. Yeah, so I'm not... I'm not really sure whether I've just... I'm just very mentally drained at the moment and don't have... I don't have the capacity... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep persevering. I don't. I don't tend to have. I don't tend to stop. And start something new when I'm not getting along with something. I tend to persevere and um, see things through to the end. Um, even if I'm not enjoying them, I'll just keep going, and then I'll be like, oh, "Thank God for that." But I don't know if that often means, therefore, that I don't get the best results because I'm just rushing it. Or or what, but um, 
yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. But I'm I'm hoping I've not lost my colouring mojo. So I've really been enjoying it the last few months. Um, you know, having just set up the channel as well, it's kind of like I wonder if anyone's got any ideas. If they lose their colouring mojo, what do they do? What do you do if you lose your colouring mojo? What's your tactic? Do share in the comments if, you, if that's happened to you and what you've done about it. Um, yeah, I'm fearful that it's here and I don't know what to do. Um, but swatching is quite therapeutic, I find. I quite enjoy doing it, seeing the colours go down and how your new supplies work. And this, this colouring companion book is just so good for keeping it all in the same space although I've made a complete mess of mine I've, I've chucked acrylic paint over it as you can see here that's the acrylic paint I threw over it a lot of things have bled through I bought some um, Spectrum Noir floral sparkle brush pens for Christmas and they, I, I put them I put them down and they're a nightmare to work with and uh, they bled through the pages all over the place so um, yeah, that's really difficult. Um, and they go through about three or four pages, so I was quite upset because it completely ruined my book. But this, I really like this book. I put all, all my swatches in here, all my watercolours go in here, all my acrylics. I've got swatch charts which I downloaded for my polychromos, swatch charts for my um. Well, I'll tell you, experts and my Black Widows and Black Widows having a swatch chart is pretty much essential because there's 180 pencils in that set and some of them are quite unusual so you kind of need although I've used them quite a lot recently because I really like using them in Lulu Mayo books and I like using them in Kirby Rosanne books so I am getting to know what colours I like and it's quite obvious because some of the, the pencils are a lot shorter than others oh I like these browns some really nice um, skin tone shades in these markers. Uh, that one's a nice one. That one's a nice one. There's a kind of apricot, which is maybe a bit orange, but the cream pearl's really nice. That's there. Um, I really like these, I have to say. And I really like the tropical colours of these. Um, it's a good range. Like you know, These blues here are really nice. Which would be really nice for like oceans and water and potentially sky actually. Um, hair, yeah, there's some good hair. They've got a good selection of reds and pinks, so I think it was a good starter set for me because I was thinking essentially I could use them just to lay down bases of stuff so they're not too dark so that I can go in with some pencil shading. Um, which is kind of ideal for me because I think that's what I, I'd quite like to do is put them as a base and then go in with the pencil. Well, that one's quite... I mean, it's good having black as well. Um, and I've never really used alcohol marks. I know they're, they're meant to be really good for blending and they don't leave... Um, they don't leave brush marks like watermark. I've got some Ecoline brush... Um, Ecoline water, water-based markers and they leave, like... Pen, pen marks in the direct like you know so you can see where you've coloured but these are like they just make the image look really um even and smooth is what I've seen when people have been colouring so I've got um so next week I should have a Hannah Lynn book coming my first Hannah Lynn book which I'm really excited about I've seen lots of people colouring in the her books and it's the 50 fan favourites I think I'm guessing so it's kind of favourite images from across all of her books. And this is the last one because the other one's a blender. Um, so that should be coming next week. And then it's my birthday at the end of the month. So I'm really excited. I'm hopefully going to be getting some lovely supplies, additional supplies. So that's it. You've listened to me ramble on for 15 minutes. So these are the colours. Narcissus Yellow. Sapphire, the narcissus yellow and the sapphire yellow seem to be very similar. Sunflower yellow, white quartz, I like the white quartz, cream pearl, pumpkin orange, apricot, sea urchin red, aurora pink, peony pink, fig red, cerise pink, ballerina pink, lilac, wisteria purple, 
Periwinkle, Sweet Pea Purple, Topaz Blue, Sky Blue, Baby Blue, Pale Aqua Blue, I don't even know how to say this, Pomelo Green, Aura Green, Mantis Green, Cactus Green, Frog Green, Ivory, Light Clay Brown, Goldstone Red, Pastel Orange, I like Pastel Orange, Black, and then a selection of cool greys, and then a blender. So I have to say, I quite like that colour selection. Um, and I also like the way they, they look really smooth. And I think you could probably make other colours with the blender as well. So I'm going to have a good play with those. But yeah, that's um, my swatching out is not very neat. Look at that, it looks awful. Anyway, you get the idea. The idea of what the, the markers look like. Just have another quick look. That's how they look in the box. Um, very pretty. Like them. So yeah, my new markers. That's it everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing Arteza Tropical Tones Blendable Alcohol Based Ink Everblend Ultra Markers. Um, like I say, they come in lots of different uh, sets. This is the Tropical Tones. I want to get the Ocean Tones. There's the Landscape Tones. Americana Tones. Skin Tones. So there's quite a significant number of sets and I think the full full number is 144 um, but I think I'm just going to get this and the ocean tones and that will suit me down to the ground anyway thanks for watching see you again soon bye